Player Manager, I'm sure welcome to the back of this Teardown Lab. We're going to have a play here with this boosting module. This is the XL6009. So I'm not really quite sure of its functionality or capability. It's a bit of a sort of mystery. It's something I just ordered because it looked cheap and sounded cool. The sort of description of it just said DC to DC, 4.5 to 32 volts input with a 5 volts to 55 volt output. So I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means you're getting a half volt sort of... Oh, it's live. <laughs> Maybe I ought to turn off my power supply when I'm hooking these things up. So I'm just going to hook in the other in. A bit stiff actually. Maybe that's just me not loosening these off enough. Right. And then I'm just going to tighten that up. So yeah, I, I think this kind of could be useful for various things. I have no idea what the current though you're going to get on it, but let's whack it on. So we see, I don't know if you can see it, it's not particularly clear. We should do the sort of dark filter over here might be better. It does say 28.2, so I've got a meter here. Let's just check the input. So I'm going to adjust the input down to 5 volts. So we have a clean 5 volts. Okay, that's the two knobs on here. That's the coarse knob. And then I'm going to adjust the fine. Come on, come on. Close enough, right? 5.2. So on the screen it says 28.2. So let's measure the output. Uh, 28.6. says 28.3 now on here. Oh, and this button says imp in and out. So that's the input voltage and then that's the output voltage. So that's cute. So on its thing it says input voltage 4.9. And on our meter we're saying 5.1. Okay, so 0.2 out. And then on the output voltage, you can see the... Oh! <laughs> the output voltage, you see the LED comes on, it says 28.3. And then on our thing we are 28.64, so there seems to be a bit of a difference. But did you notice that? There was something weird going on with the button. Ah, I just held the button down and it went off. No, ah, hang on, we're still seeing a uh, 28.64 volt, so that must be screen on. Okay, so that's our output voltage. I push it again, it goes to the input voltage. I push it again, oh yeah, so yeah, it's weird. I thought that if you sort of held it down it was doing something weird, but not really, it's just going on and off. So let's see how we might adjust that. So I see there is a sort of a little adjuster here. I might need something a bit finer to get in there. Yeah, so I'm going to leave it on output mode so we can see what it's set. Uh, see, look, there is something here going on. What's that zero? So when it's got the flashing zero, yeah, I don't know why our meter, I'll just tell you what, yeah, I thought our meter was sort of locked on something there. Still doing something, one, two, three, could this be how many uh, times boost you want? How did I do that? So I held it down, didn't work it. Just do a quick press. Yeah, a quick press. It lets you sort of choose this number. Five, minus one, minus two. Min okay, let's go for minus four. Do I hold it down? So we've got the 4.9 in. And then yeah, it's still saying the sort of same 28.62, so this is bonkers, isn't it? Bonkers. I think we're going to have to have a look at this. And I don't really want to uh, adjust this trim pot too much now in case it's some sort of critical thing. Jump cut. Right, I found this on Instructables. It does seem to be some sort of article about this. Yeah, it's equipped with a Schottky diode. You need not be worried about wrong operation. There is no need to use the multimeter, which will be more convenient. So there. It shows the adjusted results intuiti intuitively with the digital tube. So, so far, <laughs> it 
so far we don't really know what happens but here's the functioning so you know pause your screen for a data blast but it's basically saying short press input output display options moderate press enter fine tuning state and increase or decrease the offset the default is zero when the voltage display is inaccurate use okay so that's to set the actual accuracy of the screen so you can do minus okay so the plus or minus is probably plus or minus the decimal point number ah okay so yes yeah, so adjusting the voltage is by screwing in that screw that's all we need to know so yeah so these are just all tuning the multimeter part of this circuit so i guess it's nice they've uh, sort of included that if you're that way you know you care and you're that way inclined to sort of modify that but let's let's see what we're here for we've got a five volt input we just want to see what happens when you crank this thing up 2.9 30 uh 34.5 36 i'm kind of scared now is there a point here where i might shock myself i think you can feel 50 volts can't you if you touch it I'm going to be gentle now. I don't want to break this. No, it's still going there. Gently, gently. Catchy monkey. 53.9. 54. I think we're kind of there, though. I think it's hit kind of an end stop, and it's just going dropping back down. So we've got our multimeter here floating around randomly. It doesn't know what it's on. I'm just going to try to hook this in, and I have. There we go, 54.7 volts. That's kind of groovy, though, isn't it? I wonder, yeah, I'm just going to have a quick look to see if it says anything on the sort of current in this thing. But that's that's kind of impressive, isn't it? I'm not seeing a current figure, so... Uh, mm, oh, um, yeah. Input current, 4 amps. Doesn't say anything about output current, but 4 amps! Crikey! I mean, that could be quite a um, drive, quite a good thing, really. Hmm. I will have to think of a suitable experiment, and to I'm, I'm scared to touch it now. I think 50 volts, you'll you'll feel it. I think you'll feel anything over sort of 40. While I'm winding that down, while I'm winding it down, please consider the sort of applications that you could use this for. And if you're not careful, you could probably damage something by shoving in a lot more volts than it sort of intends you to have. Um, Brilliant. I think I think it's a really good demonstrator. If it's if it's sort of included in a sort of curriculum, um, I think you'd learn a lot. I'm just sort of looking at these chips now, eyeballing them. Right, so we're down to 22 volts, a bit more safe. Um, yes, underneath this is an IC in there. You won't be able to see it. It's just in there. So that's the whole microcontroller that's doing the voltage stuff. So the actual power supply things are these components. Yeah, maybe one of these. <laughs> See, that, that actually is a, looks like a voltage regulator, so that's probably a little power supply to sort of make sure that the microcontroller on here is fed sort of for 5 volts and doesn't go beyond that. And there's your input-output. That's cute, though, isn't it? Cute. Hope that's been of some use to you. Please feel free to click like or subscribe if you're that way inclined. But I really would love you to comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching.